Welcome back! In today's video, I will be showing you how to do this red lip glam gold eyes look. <laughs> I'm not sure how to name it. If you have hooded eyes, I'll also be showing you how you can wear any kind of shimmering shadow and black liner without it transferring onto each other. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'll be doing is priming my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I'll be applying it to my waterline and my lower lash line also. To eliminate the stickiness of that primer, I'm going in with the Tarte Tartlet Palette in this color. This is Free Spirit and I'll apply that all over the lid. From that same palette, I'm using the color Wanderer, this one here. I'm putting that in my crease. And take that on your lower lash line as well. Next, I'm taking the Lorac Gold Unzip Palette and I'll be using the color called Undeniable right here. And I'll be placing it in our outer crease. I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit more with this color here. Uh, this very dark brown color here called Unedited. Then I'll be taking that same really dark brown color and applying it to my lower lash line. Next, I want to take a little bit of the white from my flash palette and apply that to the center of my lid and uh, drag it into my inner corner. And blend as we go. Just kind of pat that too. This will help create a little base for our shimmering colors that we're going to add. I do this step because my lid constantly folds onto itself when I blink. If I apply any kind of shimmering shadow, it does, just doesn't last as long if I don't. We'll be taking the color Unlimited from the Lorac palette right here. It's a very pretty gold color. And packing that on the white. This also helps us create a rounded cut crease without really trying. Go in with your brush and just blend out these outer edges that need the darker color. I'm bringing it in my inner corner here as well. Okay, so here's the tricky part when you want to do eyeliner and you've used shimmering eyeshadows if you have hooded eyes. Anywhere that I apply eyeliner, like say in this inner corner, and I open my eyes, the uh, shimmer from this gold shadow is going to transfer onto my black eyeliner. And that's just not the look we're going for. It doesn't usually look pretty. So when we apply our eyeliner, we're going to do it on this outmost corner here and try to avoid as much of this gold shadow as possible. And I'll be winging it out on the outer corner only. So basically what ends up happening with your wing is it kind of starts creating a straight shape right here up to this point. So from the tip of the wing to about here and then you're going to want to slant your liner down on an incline to meet your lash line. So do you see how it's like almost like a trapezoid going from lash line to this point and then from this point to the wing. That kind of shape for your liner is what's going to look the best for our eyes once they're open and when we're looking down as well. This point here, which if you were to drag it down, it's where your actual lash line starts. We're gonna start inclining it down. So that's kind of like our rough draft. Just to really set that in place and make sure so that the black doesn't transfer onto the lid, I will use my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Next, 
next, I'm gonna apply some mascara and eyelashes. I will say, just be careful with the amount of glue you use, especially here in the inner corner. Use the smallest amount because you don't have liner here. It's gonna be more unforgiving as far as the placement and if you have any smearing lash glue. Even if you use clear, you can kind of see the lash glue and you're gonna end up with like a, like a messy lash like I did on this side. Um, I'm okay with it, I'm gonna live with it, but it can get a little bit messy. This side is a little bit better. I used less lash glue. That's why. But basically, the main point that I want to point out is I don't have any liner where it can touch the gold shadow. So when I open my eyes, none of the liner touches the gold shadow. So if you do that, you should be good. All right, and that completes the eyes. I want to do a red lip for this look. During the holidays, I picked up this pack. This is by Stila. Eternally Yours Liquid Lipstick Set. The color I'll be using today is Fiery. Looks like this. And this is the finished look! Um, I have no idea what to do with my hair nowadays. This postpartum hair loss is gnarly. It really, it's no joke. I feel like I look like a mushroom every time I try to do anything with my hair. I need to get it done too because my color has grown out a lot and I've lost a lot of hair. So it's like this stringy, grown out, like grossness. And currently I don't have any like creative ways to style my hair with these looks. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you tried this look out, please tag me on Instagram or Facebook. All of that is at Marlon Amdorge. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!